Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to Profit Ada. So today exactly I'm gonna talk about one of the powerful tool or a powerful weapon. Okay, in placing orders. Okay, profit booking. Okay, so a number of things can be achieved from this tool. Okay, and uh, the tool which I'm talking about is stop loss orders. And in this category, if you refer to other brokers, they might refer stop loss market. and stop loss limit orders okay and in option trading uh, you know if you say the stop loss limit order is valid okay so you have to give the price and trigger price and according to that uh, your sl has been taken care okay now if you refer i mean you can get to the documentation part and can refer uh, things over there and can talk about how you can place an slm orders okay so uh, I, i just want to tell you uh, if you don't have an account you can follow link in the description and have an account and after opening an account just get the api okay and if you want to create an app and activate the api just uh, google fires api profit ada reach to my website and uh, everything i have made it available okay so you can check with the videos okay follow the video properly whatever the instructions are there okay from that instructions just carry the process okay so as you can see i've been done already uh, like uh, you know some of the videos which you can take as a reference and can utilize as per your requirement okay so what i'm talking about uh, no one one more thing is there which we will definitely gonna uh, go with uh, files document documentation okay so we'll go with these things and we'll check about you know order placement the guide which is there okay so see this order placement guide is there so if you go or there they have been mentioned how you can go so say suppose uh, you know some of the strings will be there and in uh, where variable part you have to mention you can exactly can mention as 1 minus 1 2 1 so like that you can uh, go with this things so as you can see now we are talking about this stop order slm okay and one more say, so this is stop loss market so if i say type equal c stop loss market will be there but this won't work with the options okay the only thing working with the option if you want to do anything the powerful tool is stop loss limit order okay s l l okay which is type 4 so in our order placement if we say type 4 and uh, you know we will mention each and everything okay whether we want to go for buy and sell so uh, like you know uh, we can go with one as minus one and market order as in type 2 so you know these things so now what i'm offering to you say suppose like you know A limit order is also there market order be exactly like you know if you go or there and just press buy or sell it will definitely going to activate according to the intraday or margin if you want to go like margin of cash and carry so suppose if you want to go with like you know if i don't have to place any kind of a order on market so especially i want to place some orders on this price okay so there is right now uh, limited uh, limit order is also there okay and uh, slm is also there and i, I and i think uh, you can go with the limit order but i think in this two or three things as i say like you know it's not so much as equivalent and powerful to this stop loss limit order okay so whatever i do especially if i placed order and want to place an sl or say suppose if i want to take in it especially what i do is like i used to take order market order and i utilize stop loss limit order for placing my sl okay and i take that sl and the sl need to be traded through my algorithm okay which i do otherwise i trail through my program okay i utilize my system and on that price it will like you know go for the market order so market also market order is the first uh as i say tool is a important tool 
and after that so suppose market order is is a in a chess board if you see okay market order is a king okay and stop loss limit order which i say is a queen okay so that is how you should take the references okay so i'm going to do it in a short manner okay what i say is like you can carry uh, this uh, like in you know, a previous video which i have been done how to place hedge orders like copy each and everything copy whole uh, code okay and follow this things okay so i have to get the symbol so symbol part is extracted from a price strike price and converted and all of the things which i have been done and the next what i have to do is like i have to get that symbol i have to take that ltp and place the order so now which you can do with the help of websocket also okay so i i'll make it short so uh, i think i've been already copied the code okay so it is already there with me you can do these things with your uh from this website okay so right now i think i am good to go so each and everything is available so first of all i will check whether i am getting the symbol c symbol p okay and the next i will go with other things so just press f5 or say run button and it will get to the symbol c and p So forty three thousand eight hundred is is of uh, strike price. Okay, so last price whichever like you know in the quote which you are talking about. So I think if you go with the uh, websocket data, the properly update will be there. But the end whatever the last price modified with the quote, I am getting this. So if I go with the websocket, maybe I'll get better. So this is how I got the strike price. So forty three eight hundred rupees. And we, I try to get symbol C and symbol P. So suppose if it is taking time, one more thing is that that you can download the instrument dot CSV, and from that you can fetch which value you are looking for. so as you can see i got uh, the symbol which i am looking for okay and uh, from this symbol uh, i will definitely gonna like you know take this symbol and try try to take the ltp and i will place the order okay so all of the thing i will take it out and only i will take it like uh, this two things okay which were from the strike price i got the symbol okay so 23rd may is is the expiry okay so dot i will take the last price and uh, take the limit price as well as trigger price for these things okay so i will refer this as in symbol underscore c which will be this and symbol underscore p So symbol C P I got okay, and I I don't thinks so that I uh, I want other things okay. So I just take it out, and uh, I think uh, I just need the last price okay. So we'll uh, definitely gonna go with these things, 
and uh, I will place a symbol C so it will be my choice already symbol C is there and I take a last price okay and that last price what I am gonna do is like I will give it to this particular thing I mean this particular format syntax as I already told you just have to copy paste and replace certain things it will work for you okay so you don't have to do extra work so I want to place an intraday order okay quantity 25 is the initial quantity bank nifty type which I have to say is I have to say 4 for stop loss limit order okay and the next what I have to do is like I have to say about the limit price in this limit price stop loss if I give it any these things it will work for me now one of the important formula which I will tell you right now so it will be easy to recognize the limit price and uh, the stop price to place as required price okay because if you go with the sell side if you want to like you know place a sell order okay you have to say like um, you know you have to give it so suppose if you want to like you know buy order so um, buy order means the limit price will be higher and uh, stop price will be lower and if you want to do it uh, in a sell side okay so sell side what will be happen a uh, limit price what I say is like sell side if you want to go uh, the stop price will be higher and the limit price will be lower okay so in buy if you want to go the stop price will be lower and if you want to go with the sell the stop price will be higher okay so you have to remember and it is very much easy thing okay which I can you can you can repeat while placing these orders and if you are doing certain kind of a coding that is also well and good so all you have to say is buy low sell high okay so what I have to say so suppose if I am getting that uh, LTP as a last price okay which is of uh, will be uh, symbol underscore C okay so if I have to say this okay so I want to place an uh, buy side so what I have to say limit price will, will be last underscore price and after that means you can keep any kind of a buffer here okay and uh, you can add any of the extra points from here okay so last price will be there and from that you can place I mean the only original thing which is required is stop price and limit price you can take it any buffer whichever you want okay and in this exact from the last price if you are calculating and how many points you want that you can take it okay and originally can place the order so you can do put some formulas okay and say suppose if you want to from last price if you want like you know keep it plus 60 so that is also can be done so last price plus 60 so that is how you can do but originally what happens whatever the price you will put that will be your price whichever calculated I mean you want to give it any kind of a target or these things that you can calculate and can put that price so whichever like you know instead of last price you can say your own price whichever you want not the last price so suppose what happens say I will take an price which will be come uh, like you know calculation went from the last price plus 60 so my SL will be on 60 points so from whichever the order place otherwise you can fetch the trade book take it from the price whichever you want from that the calculation will go now what happens price plus whatever you do so suppose you need to keep uh, the buffer so whatever the price you will go okay and in this price uh, as I say if I have to go for the buy so buy low buy low sell high that's that's what we originally do in the market okay for profit purpose that is the mantra and buy low sell high so buy low low means here the price whatever will be there will be higher side so whatever buffer you add okay so suppose if you added here 100 so if I say buy low 
means I have to I am placing a buy order, so it will be ninety five rupees. So whatever your limit price will be there, from that stop price will be lower side. So buy low. So suppose if you want to get with the stop loss limit order, as in sell side. So vice versa. So it will be an order nifty five and hundred. Okay. So whatever you are giving, okay, it should be like you know on price uh, price point will be there. Okay, and whatever the price you will put here will be greater here, and whatever you price, so suppose if you get sell side, it should be higher here. Okay, so that is how you how you will do. Okay, so suppose if you uh, so suppose if you bought it at hundred rupees, and you are placing and uh, like you know you bought it a C. Okay, and if you want to place an SL order for that for that thing, so what you can do is like. uh as i said sell high so sell high means what do you do you will place uh like you know below 100 rupees so that will be 50 rupees so suppose if i want to place at 50 uh sl okay so what i have to do 50 so here it will be 55 and here it will be like if i have to say like uh, 55 so what i have to say is like 60 okay and 55 sorry it will be like uh, uh so suppose if i am getting here 55 and that should be 60 points if i want to get like you know sell side so i have to give 60 and i want to add as in 55 so what i have to do like i can give it here 55 and here 50 and same 45 and get with the calculation 50 so just remember the mantra buy low sell high so if you are placing and sell stop loss limit order sell high so stop price will be higher limit price and so suppose if you want to go with the uh, buy it will be opposite so buy low low means 50 whatever you place limit orders that will be 45 so that is how you will go okay So I'll try these things. I will give it so last price plus sixty is there. So I'll give it any any of like uh, like you know plus five here. And uh, last price will be there. So this is just an example. And here it will be price will be there. So what I am doing is. is i am selling here okay so we will like you know go for this things and place orders and i will show you in my order book there will be this will be definitely and rejected will be there see this allowed and you if you hear that sound means i got a rejected order okay so here you can see the rejected order is there but i am able to place the order stop loss limit order 25 quantity and this are the things are there so limit price and stop price or whatever i think i got from symbol c okay and uh, even i can I, th i think i can check the symbol c as well okay whatever the price is there ltp according to that i am placing this order so let's see if possible options i'll take So this is what I got. Okay, and I will check uh, the price of this thing. So as you can see, okay. So exactly three fifteen rupees is there. So as I already told you, there will be might some different. will be there while checking with the ltp so i must say that if you are going with uh, uh, like you know real time orders or something go with the web socket data so okay so this is what exactly i got the symbol here and uh, this uh, i got rejected so i think at limit price whatever i got 287 rupees or something okay from that 292 rupees okay so you can see from here as well and try to get your ltp from uh, 
the web socket so i think that is good okay 43900 is it sir okay and the last price is around 315 rupees okay so ch check this thing so i think here i have given last price and from that price is there okay so i must say that you can utilize this way and uh, for entry exit profit booking this is how you can go and while coding do remember this stuff buy low sell high okay simple stuff just memorize utilize these things and go for uh, like you know placing orders or say placing sls and then exactly like you know trailing scalping okay so this is one of the best tool okay do try just i will give the code link in the description go for it okay and uh, if you have any doubt regarding this video please do comment below if you have any other queries or requirements please do contact me direct via whatsapp thank you